If you guys know my makeup style, my makeup aesthetic, I don't think the new Beauty Bay Reckless Romance would be at the top of the list for me to review and purchase. However, I have looked at this palette and I've fallen in love, what can I say? It's a very unexpected love, okay? I never thought I would really love a pinkier toned palette. I have said a lot on my channel, I'm not a fan of pinks, I really don't like pinks, pinks are not my thing at all, but these aren't pinks, these are like grungy reds and mauves. There is this shade Rebel which is more of a pink, front row is kind of a pink and Muse is also a pink, but other than that it is very very mauvey, it's very ready, it's very grungy, and you guys also know cool tones on my absolute love affair. I love cool tones more than anything in the world. These greys, I love them so much. <laughs> so I knew I had to pick this up. This is from Beauty Bay's own brand. It is 16 pounds. Incredible. It is cruelty free and vegan. So that is a massive thing for me. I know it's a massive thing for some of you guys as well. It comes in this really, really beautiful box, very, very similar to the outer packaging of the palette itself. And here is the back of the box. It says Reckless Romance. Embrace your dark feminine energy with the Reckless Romance palette, starring 20 edgy matte and shimmer shades that create countless sultry looks. This palette is perfect for every kind of date night or day ranging from sparkling metallics and grungy greys to pops of berry. This is an affair worth getting into. I do not support affairs. Don't have affairs, don't cheat. Okay, I thought I'd clear that up. This was not on my bingo card for a palette that I would review. But what can I say? I absolutely love it. But just before we do jump into the video, if you have not already, like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I wanna do a lot more reviews here on my channel. So if you're up for that, then definitely stick around. But I also do a lot of get ready with me's and project panning, bright, fun, colorful makeup. I wouldn't say today is too bright, but it's definitely fun. And without further ado, let's do some swatches. Oh, but first, it's this time, okay? Everyone be quiet, shush. This is important. Here we go. Oi! Oh, very satisfying. That was annoying me all the way through this review. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try and do half my arm and then the other half. I don't know if it's gonna work like that. We can try. The first shade is number one. This is just a cream lid setting shade. I'm not sure if you're even going to be able to see it on my skin tone. It is very, very similar to my skin tone. So a pasty white setting shade. Obviously, this is a little bit difficult for people who are not ghosts like myself, but Beauty Bay do normally put a very light blending shade in their palettes. Next is the shade Rebel. This is a beautiful kind of brighter berry pink, definitely more of like a, a lighter pinky raspberry, I'd say. Very pigmented. I have used these two mixed as my blush today, so I have tested this palette on my cheeks as well. Next we have VIP which is a gold shade. I did say I was a little bit confused about this gold, not going to lie. But I don't know, swatching it out, it's definitely not as bright yellow as I thought it was gonna be. So maybe it does fit. Maybe I was just being a big fat liar. Next we have Fling, which is more of a mauve matte. That's what that shade looks like. I will say all of these mattes feel so creamy, soft, really, really beautiful. I do love them a lot. Next we have Love Song, which is a medium brown. It definitely looks more warm tone in the pan, but on the arm, it's more neutral for sure. Second row, we have Soulmate. Here we go, definitely more dusty more gray toned than some of the other pink shades so far. Okay, next is possibly my favorite shade in the whole palette. This is Girlfriend. Are you ready for this? Oh, wow. I never thought I'd say that about pink shimmer, but look at that. That is so high shine. I do have this in my inner corners today. It is just something else. It is so shimmery. It's definitely one of those wet look kind of shadows. 
stunning. So next is the shade Affair. This is more of a ready toned pink. You can see that there. Very vibrant, very, very bright. Beauty Bay does not skip out on the pigmentation of these palettes. Let me tell you, it is insane. Next we have After Party. Let me swatch this here. It is, is it a duochrome? I feel like this has a slight orangey flip to it but it is a kind of mid-toned pink with kind of silvery shimmery flecks in it. Stunning. And the final shade of the second row is front row. This is more of a purple kind of aubergine color. Very beautiful, very pigmented. Okay, let's start up here again and swatch the third and the fourth rows. Okay, so first we have Encore. That is quite a deep taupey shimmer. So stunning, very, very high shine. You can see that there, beautiful. Next is the shade Tattoo, which is the first gray toned in this palette. A very deep gray. I have not used this in my eye look today, but you will see that later on, absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, these greys have a hold of my heart. Next we have Mini Dress, which is a very bright gunmetal silvery shimmer. You can see there. These two shades would be perfect for just such an easy, sultry, quick look. I love that. Next is Backstage, which is more of a taupey matte, I'd say. It definitely is grey, but it does have a slight browniness to it. Next we have Fishnet. This feels a lot drier than the others and it definitely doesn't have as much of a shine as well. This is a black with purple shimmer in it. That's a very dry. Um, yeah, not the creamiest at all. Finally, the last row, we have Paparazzi, which is more of a brownie toned aubergine ready purpley matte shade. We have Muse, which is a hot L Woods pink. That doesn't seem to have as much shimmer in it either. It definitely seems to be a bit more of a satiny shimmery shade. I have not used that today. We have the shade Last Night. That is like a medium grey taupey matte shade. I have used this in my eye look today. Second to last, we have Rockstar, which is more of a purple. That is so stunning. A deeper, mid to deep purpley pinky shimmer. And finally, we have Leather, which is the black. I did, of course, start this eye look with this shade today. So this is the palette swatched out. I think it looks stunning. I think it looks beautiful. I never thought I'd say that about a pinky tone palette, but I am. Here I am before you today saying this is stunning. So now I'm going to do this eye look. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. It's been a while since I last reviewed a palette, so I I'm so excited about this. This color story, I'm sure I said in the intro, it's not my typical color story, but I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna do a look with you guys today. I'm very excited. Okay, let's jump into it. So as always, you guys know, I'm starting with the black, which is called Leather down here. I have tried a Beauty Bay black before. It is amazing. So hopefully this is a similar formula. And I'm going to start packing that on the outer corner. Okay, so far, so good. And I'm going to bring it all the way in to the crease as well. This palette actually arrived an hour after I'd left to spend a few days away, which is typical and I have been spending that whole time away thinking about the look that I want to do with this palette so I hope it comes out really really well and I'm also going to run this along my lower lash line there's actually not that much fallout I'd say two or three little specks so that is amazing I'm very happy about that okay and of course I need to test out these gray tones so I'm gonna jump over tattoo because I feel like if I start with this shade last night it'll kind of blend with the black fine so that's what I'm gonna do got a clean brush it is slightly stained blue but that's fine so I'm gonna go in with last night these are very firmly pressed as well not much fallout as you can see and I'm gonna pack this on the inner part of this look yeah 
leather and last night blend out absolutely fine. Then I'm taking a fluffier brush and going in with Backstage, which is this lightest gray tone and blending that all the way up into my brow pretty much. These gray tones are right up my alley. I absolutely love them. I think if it wasn't for these gray tones, I wouldn't have been as interested in this palette. It's looking pretty messy. That's the point. It's the Reckless Romance palette. So on the outer part, I'm going to play with some pinky reds. So I think I'm going to start with Paparazzi, which is this deep almost like a brownie red matte shade. And I'm gonna start packing that on the outer part of this smoky eye. And I'm also gonna follow it along the lower lash line just to connect those two. These are blending so well. I really like Beauty Bay mattes. I don't think I've ever found a Beauty Bay matte that I really don't like. These are so good. They're working really, really well so far. I'm really, really happy. So now I think I'm going to go in, hmm, I think maybe with front row, which is this slightly lighter, almost like a mulberry matte shade. And I'm going to start blending that pink. That black seems to have just disappeared, which is a really good way of testing a blend. If the black is still quite harsh, it's not the best blend and a lot of palettes do keep a very harsh black line. This palette seems to have just blended it. I hope it's coming across on camera because in real life, the blend is beautiful. Okay, and then finally for the mattes, I'm gonna go in with, do I do fling or do I do soulmate? They seem quite similar shades, these two. Maybe they didn't need both of these in here. I think Soulmate is slightly more gray. So I think I'm gonna use this. Yeah, that really has connected the grayness of the inner corner with the pinks. Good choice. Okay, that's all the mattes done. I really like these mattes. They blended really, really well. I'm very happy with them. I'm gonna go off camera and cut my crease and also catch this eye up as well. I was gonna do them together, but I just got carried away. I really wanna play with this palette, use as many shades as possible. So uh, yeah, I'll catch this up and then I'll be back. The crease is cut and now it's time for the shimmers. I'm so excited about this. I have a bit of a love-hate with Beauty Bay shimmers. Some of them are so creamy that they just crease on me, but some of them are really, really nice. So I don't know which one I want to go with first. I think I'm going to go with Rockstar first, which is this purpley, pinky, grungy, beautiful shimmer. I absolutely love the look of this. That's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna pop this on my outer cut crease. That's really stunning. And I'm gonna try and just tap it into the black matte. That's really nice. That's definitely not one of the super creamy shimmers. I don't think there are any in here actually, which I really, really like. It just gets a bit too mushy on my lid. So I think they've stopped doing those, thankfully. The next shade I'm gonna put on is maybe after party, this beautiful lighter pink. It looks to have a bit of silver shimmer running through it as well, which is stunning. Okay, a little bit lighter and a little bit brighter, I think, than the other shimmer that we used. And then I think I'm gonna blend that in to maybe mini dress, which is this silver shade on the inner corner. I'll blend these properly in a second. I'm just packing them on for right now. I'm very, very glad that these shimmers aren't the super putty-like shimmers. because I always do worry when Beauty Bay comes out with a new palette. They're definitely not going on as well with a brush. I'm just using my brush to try and get right up into that cut crease. They don't really want to work with a brush. They're definitely more finger shades, which to be honest, most shimmers are. So I'm not going to put points against them for that. Okay, I'm absolutely loving this. I really want to tap a tiny bit of either girlfriend or encore on the inner part of this look just to brighten it up a tiny bit. I think I'm going to go with encore because I think I want to put girlfriend on the inner corner. 
Oh, this feels very, very creamy. Oh yeah, that really lightens it up a little bit. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, that was a really good choice just to brighten it up a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna take Girlfriend, which is this pinky shimmery shade. This looks so stunning. Look how shiny that looks. I'm gonna pop this on my inner corner. That is so beautiful. That is definitely gonna be one of my favorite shades. Look at that shine. It looks like one of those wet kind of shadows. So beautiful. Okay, and now before I do my lashes and put everything together, I really wanna see how this palette works as a blush and as a highlight. So for blush, a lot of these pink shades are very, very dark so I think I might mix number one and rebel so rebel is this kind of bright fuchsia pink and then number one is just like a skin toned shade so I'll mix them together and pop them on the cheeks oh that's nice it's subtler than I thought it would be that's really really pretty very pink but not in your face which I like yeah, this shade goes so well with this look. Ooh, I like it. And then, of course, I have to try this shade Girlfriend on the cheeks. I'm going to try it with a brush. However, I don't know if it's going to work very well. Oh, no, it does. It's very piecey on a brush. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. It's like a glittery highlight. Maybe not my personal cup of tea, but if you're into super glittery highlighters... I don't know, maybe this one is perfect for you. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my lashes and my liner on and then we'll check in for the final thoughts. Here is the final look with the Beauty Bay Reckless Romance palette. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think of this color story as a whole? Do you think this is a good Valentine's Day palette? I actually have a video coming live very soon and it's five different Valentine's looks for five different aesthetics. Unfortunately, I did that video before I got this palette, but I said in that video, I'm sick to death of super bright blue base pinks and bubblegum pinks and Elle Woods pinks. I'm really sick to death of that for Valentine's Day. So when this came out, this was my grungy Valentine's dream. I absolutely love this palette. I know pinks aren't usually my thing, but these are very much grungier, not so pinky pinks, you know? I think they go really, really well with these greys. I'm really, really in love with this palette. I really, really do like it. I will say this gold is slightly out of place. I don't know if you would agree, but maybe a gold... I get gold and pink go together, but I'm just a little bit confused by this placement, but that is literally the only gripe I have with this palette. I think this palette is so beautiful. It is so inexpensive. It is 16 pounds. It is cruelty free and vegan. It's such good quality. <sighs> Beauty Bay, you've done it again. I was nervous to review this palette. I was nervous that it was gonna come in the mail. It was gonna be a lot more pink than it actually was. It's a very ready, grungy palette and I absolutely love that. And these greys are gonna be my new best friend. I love greys what can i say and these are going to be my new everyday greys i think i absolutely love them do you have this palette if you do let me know what you think of it down below do you have a good dupe for this also let us know there may be some people watching this who are kind of on the fence and they may have a palette that is a good dupe so definitely let us know down below and i think that's it what can i say this look is pretty cute i love it 10 out of 10, amazing. So this is where I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. If you did enjoy this video, like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I hope you have an absolutely incredible day and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye.